Ever wonder how plastic ends up on your plate? It starts in the ocean, where tiny plastic particles are mistaken for food by marine life. These toxins travel up the food chain and straight into our meals. In this video, we'll reveal the shocking journey of plastic from sea to stomach. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more eye-opening insights, and let's uncover what's really happening. 1. Microplastics start at the bottom. Plastic waste breaks down in the ocean into small fragments called microplastics over time. Sunlight, salt water, and waves weaken plastic, turning it into near-invisible particles. These particles enter the food chain when plankton accidentally consume them. Plankton are microscopic organisms that form the foundation of the marine food web. When plankton eat plastic, it becomes embedded in the ecosystem's base layer. Any predator that feeds on plankton also ingests the plastic inside them. This is the beginning of a dangerous chain reaction that climbs upward through species. 2. Fish mistake plastic for food. Many fish confuse plastic particles with prey like plankton, shrimp, or jellyfish. Floating plastic mimics the size, shape, and movement of natural ocean food. Colors and scents of marine plastic trick fish into thinking they are eating something real. Fish consume bottle caps, microbeads, fibers, and even whole plastic wrappers. Once eaten, plastic can get stuck in the stomach or intestines, blocking digestion. Some fish die from starvation because plastic fills their stomachs with indigestible waste. Others live with plastic inside them and pass it on through predation or harvest. 3. Shellfish filter in plastic from water. Shellfish like mussels, clams, and oysters are filter feeders that draw in seawater to find food. They trap nutrients but also ingest microplastics floating around them in the water. These plastics accumulate in their tissues, especially in organs humans often consume. Unlike fish, shellfish are eaten whole, so the plastic within them is eaten too. This makes shellfish one of the biggest carriers of microplastics into the human diet. Research shows that mussels from heavily polluted areas contain thousands of plastic fibers. Even farmed shellfish and clean water sources have tested positive for plastic exposure. 4. Predators concentrate plastic in their bodies. As plastic moves up the food chain, it becomes more concentrated in top predators. This is a process known as biomagnification, where toxins accumulate at higher levels. Predators like tuna, swordfish, and sharks eat many smaller fish throughout their lives. Each smaller fish may carry a small amount of microplastic in its tissues. Over time, the predator absorbs all of that plastic by eating multiple contaminated prey. By the time humans eat these top fish, plastic levels can be significantly magnified. Tuna steaks, sushi, and other seafood meals may contain more microplastic than expected. These plastics can also absorb and carry other toxins, including industrial chemicals. 5. Sea salt is also contaminated. Plastic in ocean water does not stay only in fish, it even ends up in sea salt production. Salt is made by evaporating seawater, leaving behind minerals and sometimes plastic bits. Tests have found microplastics in over 90% of commercial sea salt brands. The plastic comes from ocean water drawn from polluted regions and shallow coastal zones. Sea salt from remote places still contains plastic due to wide ocean contamination. Salt crystals may include fibers, flakes, or beads invisible to the human eye. Once consumed, these particles enter the body and may accumulate over time. Since salt is used in nearly every meal, this introduces daily microplastic exposure. 6. Seabirds and marine mammals suffer too. Plastic does not only affect fish, it harms seabirds and marine mammals as well. Albatrosses, gulls, and pelicans often eat plastic mistaking it for floating fish. They may feed this plastic to their chicks, causing starvation or death. Seals and dolphins can ingest plastic through contaminated prey or floating trash. These creatures suffer from internal injuries, blockages, and toxic buildup. Marine mammals at the top of the chain accumulate the most plastic in their bodies. Autopsies often reveal stomachs full of plastic bags, caps, or other debris. This bioaccumulation affects reproduction, health, and survival rates across species. 7. Humans eat what the ocean eats. Everything that eats plastic in the ocean becomes part of what humans may eventually eat. 
Seafood is a major protein source for billions, especially in coastal and island nations. When fish, shellfish, or seaweed are harvested, they may carry invisible plastic within them. Even seaweed absorbs microplastic from the water it grows in before reaching stores. Plastic passes from prey to predator, ending at the top with human consumption. We are now the final link in a chain built from centuries of plastic dumping. Plastic waste tossed decades ago is now returning to dinner tables globally. No ocean is too remote, pollution travels and connects all food systems. Plastic that enters the sea does not disappear. It travels through life and ends with us. 8. Plastic carries harmful chemicals. Plastic is not just a physical threat. It is also chemically toxic. It contains additives like phthalates, flame retardants, and bisphenol compounds. These chemicals can disrupt hormones, affect fertility, and damage organs over time. Plastic absorbs even more toxins from polluted water, including heavy metals and pesticides. Once eaten, these chemicals can leach into the bloodstream and tissue of animals. When humans eat these contaminated fish or shellfish, the toxins enter their systems. Scientific studies link microplastic exposure to inflammation, cell damage, and cancer risks. Children and pregnant women may be especially vulnerable to long-term effects. This makes seafood safety a public health issue connected to environmental cleanliness. 9. Cooking does not remove plastic. Many people believe that boiling, grilling, or frying seafood removes all harmful substances. But microplastics do not break down under heat and remain inside the food after cooking. Plastic particles are heat-resistant and may even release more chemicals when heated. This means your grilled fish may still contain plastic, even if it looks fresh and safe. Shellfish cooked in broth or stew release microplastic into the soup or liquid. Removing visible plastic does not eliminate microscopic contaminants inside tissues. Unlike bacteria, plastic does not die when exposed to high temperatures. This persistence makes it difficult to filter out plastic even in commercial food processing. No home method currently exists to clean seafood of microplastics fully. 10. The cycle continues until we intervene. Plastic begins on land, but ends up inside the ocean and eventually our bodies. Without major change, this cycle will intensify with every passing year. As global plastic production rises, so does the amount entering marine food webs. Fish, salt, seaweed, and shellfish are now common vectors of plastic to humans. Recycling, regulation, and innovation can slow the plastic entering our oceans. Education and sustainable habits can reduce how much we discard irresponsibly. The problem is global, but the solution begins with individual awareness and action. If we stop feeding the ocean plastic, it will stop feeding it back to us. The next time you eat seafood, consider what might be hiding in every bite. Plastic pollution isn't just an environmental crisis, it's a growing health risk that affects us all. Don't forget to like this video if it made you think twice. Hit subscribe for more important content. And share this with someone who needs to understand the impact of plastic in our food chain.